Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Um, I'm in a little different sort of angle here um, because I didn't feel like setting up my tripod so I just stacked a bunch of albums and books on my floating desk um, and put my computer on top because I didn't want to deal with it. Um, I put this here simply because I got a new owl crate today and I wanted to unbox it as the time of me filming this. I have not uploaded my last owl crate, which I should do maybe after this I'll go edit it. Um, but yeah, I have not uploaded my September owl crate. This is my October one um, and I'm really excited about it. I did open it up because my roommate was curious to see what was inside because she's never seen one before. Um, I'm wearing my Untamed shirt today, super cute. Uh, yeah, but she'd never seen one before, and so I was going to open it up. It did come with a bunch of, like, the paper wormy things, but I took them out of here. Um, and then the theme for this month is Wield Your Blade. Super cool. Um, this was, this is the spoiler card. Um, I, the first month I ordered was August of 2021, and I was like, cool, I'll order one, and then... When my box comes, I'll see what the next month is, and then I'll see if I should cancel it. Well, the August one shipped out late, so my September, um, my, like, sept my subscription renewed before I got my August box, so then I checked what the September theme was, and I was like, cool, it's, like, s Haunted Hearts or something, that's cool. And then I remembered in September to check my, um, to check what the theme was for October before my subscription renewed and this one I was super excited about um, because if you can't tell it's very like Mulani-esque feeling like with the woman with the sword and there's like the flags like she's very much like a samurai and then I got a little bit scared because it is based off of like Chinese folk tales or like stories um, and it's like sci-fi I'm pretty sure and it was similar to another book that I read and I panicked because I thought like I have just bought like it's a new book and I thought I just bought it and then it was gonna be in here but it's a different book um, so let me show you all the things we got in here the first thing we got is this candle called Kamigorishi God Slayer um, it's persimmon citrus and nectarine it's so yummy it smells so good this is what the, it looks like on the inside and then this is what the outside of it looks like. So pretty. Um, it says, We're a bit obsessed with the scent that Flick the Wick created for our Shadow of the Fox inspired candle. It's very fitting for Tatsumi's legendary sword, Kamigurashi. I have not read the book Shadow of the Fox, but I definitely feel like I should. <laughs> um, this is the next one. It says, All Legends Have a Spark of Truth by Elizabeth Lim, whom I love. I love this author. Um, and then if you open it up, she writes a lot of the twisted tales, the Disney twisted tales, and I love those. And if you open it up, it's a little, I don't want it to spill, but it's a little sewing kit. So there's like a little scissors and a, like a measuring tape, a thimble, um, needle threaders, oh, buttons. There's some pins in here. I don't know if there's any needles, though. Oh, there's two needles in here, so there are some things in here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, things are falling. Um, so this says, You'll never get caught unprepared for loose buttons or rips again with our sewing kit inspired by Spin the Dawn, Stella Bookish Art Designed the Dreamy Tin. Um, I also haven't seen that one, Spin the Dawn. And then there's this one, which my roommate was really excited about because she knows more about this than I do. Not all those who wander are lost. Add a little of the magic of Middle Earth to your decor with this acrylic display featuring a hand-lettered rendition of the Riddle of Strider. And so it says, add a touch of Middle Earth magic to your decor with our Lord of the Rings inspired acrylic display. Sakur inked hand-lettered the iconic stanzas from Bilbo's poem in honor of Aragorn. And so it comes, let me get out of here. Come out of here. There we go. Sort of. Okay. So it comes with like this little wooden, oh, I didn't see this before, this little wooden stand. And then 
this is the phrase that's on it. It says, all that is gold does not glitter, not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither, deep roots are not reached by the frost. From the ashes of fire shall be woken, a light from the shadows shall spring. Renewed shall be the, shall be blade that was broken. The crownless again shall be king. And so then you just like put it in the little stand. Um, and then you set it up. I might gift this to my sister. Also, I got my nails done like last weekend and I'm super excited to like have a video where they're done. Um, I might gift this to my sister because she was really into Lord of the Rings several years ago and I was not a big fan. And so she would probably appreciate that more than I would. Um, oh, here's one. Dree Gomez never ceases to amaze us with her incredible artwork inspired by the Raven Cycle and Call Down the Hawk. She's created this dreamy piece featuring Hennessy and Ronan for our 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. Bring your dreams to life with a stunning 300 piece jigsaw puzzle inspired by Call Down the Hawk. Um, I'm going to have to look into that because I read the Raven Cycle, like the whole series, but I haven't read Call Down the Hawk. I didn't know that there was another thing that might be similar. So this is really interesting because Ronan was... Was there not a... There was a Ronan, I'm pretty sure. Now I need to check. Now I need to check. I need to do some research. Um, hopefully by the time you watch this, I will have done some research. Um, let's see, let's see... Ah, here it is. Okay. Um, this one says, Raylo shippers will swoon over the Ray, this Ray and Kylo Ren art print illustrated by Gemlin. It's got us craving a Star Wars marathon. Um, I have watched, I watched the first six and then the next one that came out, the first one with Ray, but I haven't watched any after that. And so I don't know if this is like spoilery for that. Or if this is just like a ship that people, because I know who Kylo Ren is and I know who Rey is, obviously. But I don't know if that's like a spoiler or if that's a ship that people enjoy and that's just what it is, like it's just a ship. I don't know, but it's a beautiful art print. It's very well done, high quality, very nice art print. Um, and then the next thing is the book. Um, and I really just want to show this to you because it's gorgeous. It's called Jade Fire Gold by June Coltan. So gorgeous. Look at that. It is beautiful. Um, and this, <laughs> the book is green. It's emerald green. Oh, it's beautiful. And then it is signed. Um, Her Destiny, His Revenge. Yeah, I did read it, um, so it's about a girl named Ann who has magical powers, and she is, there. it's like a secret, but when she's discovered, she's sent to the palace to await her fate. Um, and then Elton, it says he's like, real name was once known throughout the Shi Empire, so I'm assuming he's like some sort of deposed royalty that was like his birthright was taken from him it says so I'm assuming he's like some sort of deposed royalty and then he meets up with Ann and her mysterious abilities yeah because he sees her he sees in her a path to reclaiming the throne so he wants to get back on the throne so they meet each other and he uses her abilities um and they are kind of they kind of don't like each other they're like enemies to lovers I think is the vibe I'm getting which is really exciting. Um, it's beautiful though. This book is beautiful. Um, it says, inspired by Chinese mythology, mythology, Jade Fire Gold is brimming with rich magic and an epic slow burn romance. This debut's ferocious action and shadowy intrigue makes it perfect for fans of We Hunt the Flame and Avatar The Last Airbender. Our signed special edition features an exclusive cover with exclusive sprayed edges to match, as well as, oh, reversible dusk jacket art from Kim Ekdahl. Underneath the jacket, you'll find an exclusive foil case stamp. Author June C. L. Tan wrote an author letter to accompany the book just for all great subscribers. I forgot that there was a reversible dusk jacket, so this is the original dusk jacket. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, look at that naked book. Oh, my gosh. This is so pretty. 
Oh my gosh. So this is what it looks like regularly. And then this. This is gorgeous. I don't... I, the one thing I don't like about reversible dust jackets is like you don't get to see it. Like this is beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. I should have showed my roommate this. I forgot that that was a thing. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Oh my god, I'm so mad about it. Um, and then she did write her little note on the back here. Dear Alcrate Reader, Jade Fire Gold was born from my love for historical Chinese dramas. I also love those. As well as at a little different angle, for some reason it stopped recording and I don't, I wasn't paying attention to when it stopped recording. Um, so if there was a little voiceover between there and now, that's why. Um, I'm just going to share the things I find the most interesting and exciting. Um, obviously the most exciting thing is the book Jade Fire Gold. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to read it. I'm slowly still reading the ones that I got in like 2017. I'm almost done with them. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for that. So that's good. Um, the next thing I think I'm most excited about is probably the candle. I've been burning candles a lot more recently. I'm going to, after I film this video, go edit some videos and read and um, burn another candle. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that. Um, this puzzle is really kind of fun. Um, I'm not a big puzzle person, but I think this will be a really cool puzzle to try, so I'm really excited for that. Um, I definitely think this is going to be the most useful for me, the little sewing kit thing. Um, I think I'm going to bring it and kind of keep it in my classroom because sometimes I just really want like a needle and thread or like even the measuring tape will become in really handy. Um, this art print, I'm not a big Star Wars fan so I won't be hanging it up but it will be kind of a cool thing to just have. Um, maybe I could, no my sister's not a Star Wars fan. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to definitely use this little pin. I think I'm definitely going to put this one on my pin bag because it looks really cute. Um, I think the least useful thing for me personally is the acrylic stand. It's beautiful and it's very well made. And the quote is a very good quote. I am not a Lord of the Rings fan. So I feel like if my sister still is a Lord of the Rings fan it would make more sense to gift it to her. Um, maybe I could include it in her Christmas present or something just because I feel like if she can display it somewhere it'll have more, it'll mean more to her than it will to me. Um, so that's that one. And yeah, that's everything that came in this box. Um, so make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, comment down below if you've read this book or if you've read any of the other books that were mentioned in the, um, in the little magazine that I should read. Um, the other one I wanted to read was the, um, Spin the Dawn, the one that's ba the Elizabeth Lim one, because it sounds really interesting. Um, and make sure to um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.